All right, we are back in the word. And we are moving on to another topic. And we are going to talk about the dress code, okay? And I have my crazy uncle. He is with me. And he is going to introduce himself right now. Yes, my name is Anthony Choice. And I am his nutty uncle. Uh, and my belief is, is that the attire of a, of a woman uh, is separate from the attire of a man. And particularly, we're speaking on pants. And I think a pair of pants for a woman is not the same pants for a man. All right, keep going. And and if, if we want to go there, we could go to Exodus uh, chapter 28 and verse 42. And it says, and there's, and there should make a linen of bridges to cover their nakedness from the loins, even unto the thigh, thou shall reach. And if we look up the word loins, it is the um, spine between the rib and the hip. Which showing us that the lint, the distance that the britches should be, which would be underwear and not pants. Okay, so do you want to get 41 and let them know it's, it, it was speaking of Aaron? Well, it, it is speaking of Aaron and the priest, um, but uh, uh, if you want to go ahead and do it, you can. Because uh, this was pertaining to the Britches is what we, a lot of times we'd be asked, what did our four, our parents call their pants? And we would always say, they say, give me my britches. Showing us that britches are for men and not for women. So that's why I was going after 42, because it's pertaining directly for the britches themselves. And to me, it doesn't make sense. Uh, that you equate pants with britches when the description here tells us something entirely different. All right. Okay. And mm -hmm. I want to um, elaborate on that because yeah. there's no scriptures on the Israelite men happening, happening to wear pants. Okay. This is okay. only for the sons of Aaron. We have no scripture at all whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Now, the mm -hmm. only scripture I see is going to be in the book of Daniel. Okay, and I'm going to get that. Okay. This is going to be Daniel chapter Daniel. 3, verse 21. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments. And were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Now, that word hosen, okay, is where Israelites, mm -hmm. they believe it's pants. And I looked up the definition on it. Mm -hmm. And hosen comes to tunics or undergarments. Or robes. Mm -hmm. Or some says leggings. Some says mm -hmm. shirts. Some say trousers. Okay, so this is the definition of hosen. So mm -hmm. this is what I wanted to bring out on that. Even okay. if that was, okay, mm -hmm. undergarments pertaining to pants, these mm -hmm. Israelites were in captivity. Who knows what they had on before they had on hosen. And the word hosen is only mm -hmm. in the Bible one time. And I mm -hmm. have another scripture, okay? Okay. This is going to be in the book of 2 Samuel. I'm going to get that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be 2 Samuel chapter 10 verse 4. Wherefore Hanan took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle, 
even to their buttocks and sent them away. Now, if they had on pants, my brother, how you going to cut the pants, okay? Please. This is not talking about Daisy Dukes, okay? These yeah. men had on robes, okay? The children okay. of Israel, the men and the women, wore robes. Rose. And there was a certain distinction about them, okay? Some believed it was colors how they identified, okay? So here we have scripture on the Israelites wearing gowns, wearing robes. How come it don't say breeches right here? Correct. Because they yeah, wasn't wearing them. Right. They was not wearing them. And I looked at that scripture and the other reference, okay, and I'm going to show you another reference. It's going to be First Chronicles 19.4. Okay. And then we have Isaiah 20 verse 4. And I want to read that. So shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians prisoner and the Ethiopians captives, young and old, naked and barefoot, even with their buttocks uncovered. So we see that the children of Israel, okay, was wearing robes. They were wearing robes. Right. And yeah, so how I got to go. We got to go to the money. We got to go to Deuteronomy 22 and 5, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to keep you as long as you want to be on, okay? I'll keep you as long as you want to be you want to be on, you just let me know. I, I appreciate your presence. I appreciate you being a real brother to me. Okay, I forgot to greet you and salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. <laughs> <laughs> salam alaikum. Salam salam. There you go. There you go. Okay, so now we want to get to the money. We want to get to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. 22 and 5. Okay. Yeah, yep, there it is, 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now, this scripture right here, my brother, is not specific, it is not going into detail. OK, no. we know that God made male and female. So he wants mm -hmm. a man to look like a man and he wants mm -hmm. a woman to look like a woman. But this is yeah. not going into the actual detail far as a man wearing pants or a woman wearing a dress. OK, and yeah. I want to keep going. And for these Israelites who want to try to hold people to this standard. Right, mm -hmm. here in right here in Deuteronomy 22, verse 8, it says, when you build a new house, make a parapet around your roof so that you may not bring the guilt of bloodshed on your house if someone falls from the roof. So when you have a new house, when you have a house, you're supposed to build a parapet. It's called a parapet so that nobody falls off. I don't see mm -hmm. nobody keeping that scripture. Okay? And... Mm -hmm. If we was to go to Leviticus 19 and 19, it talks about you not wearing wool mixed with linen. Right. Okay. Yeah. And how many Israelites is keeping that scripture? Okay. Mm -hmm. You would have to be financially set to be able to do that. Okay. So what I see is pick and choose being selective with mm -hmm. the commandments. And remember what yeah. James said. He said, I'm going to get that. He talks about not being selective <laughs> with the scriptures. Right. And this is going to be James chapter 2, verse 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay. And mm -hmm. then look what he says. But if you have respect to persons, you Commit sin. Wow. And I just want to move to the money. This is going to be verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Okay. Oh. 
Yes. You got to keep everything. Yes. You need to build a parapet on your roof. You need to make sure you're not wearing wool, okay? Cotton, <laughs> okay? You, you can't be wearing cotton and polyester together for those who don't know, okay? So you got to be on point. You got to be on point. Yeah. And I want to give yeah. you a few words because I know I get excited and then I'll well, come well, back. Well, I, I, I like what you're saying, especially when, when you talk, because like you say, the Bible doesn't give specifics on what it is, but it does give you the separation that a man, a man should not wear the attire of a woman, meaning it is what was designed for a woman to wear. Right. Not for the man to wear the, the reverse, because no matter how we look at it, anything that is made is made from the same basic foundation. Right. Whether, whether we're talking about a shirt or we call it a blouse, it is still the same thing. It's just one is designed for one person and another one is designed for the other person. Yes, sir. A robe or a dress. Yep. Made the same way. It starts out the same pattern. It just changes somewhat based on who it's being made for. Right. So, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I totally agree with you there. I mean, man. Right. These hey. Israelite camps, these Israelite men mm -hmm. are acting mm -hmm. like these women are going into the men's section and buying clothes and putting them on. OK, yeah. but these mm -hmm. women are going to the women's section and buying clothes and putting them on, and putting them on. Yeah. Right. Yeah, most definitely. And, and 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 you can clearly see that their attire is totally different than ours. Right. Now, what you can argue is if it's too tight. Right. That's a whole different. That's a different ball game now. That's a different that's ball game. Time, clearly showing you that's an attire for a woman because you could not wear that outfit like she wears that outfit. You don't have the hips and you don't have that waist. That's right. So, and, 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 and less than you little Rich's cousin, I don't know. Right. So yeah, I totally agree with you there. I mean, it's like... <laughs> I yes, know. sir. You know, you, you're right on point with all of it. I, I don't even know what to say on this. I was like, dang. All right. I, I, I was looking for somebody that, 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 that would go against it. Well, the thing is, yeah. I'm going to give you my testimony. I'm going to give you yeah. my testimony. Okay. Now, I've always had this view in my house mm -hmm. for my women. Okay, and I'm speaking mm -hmm. of my wife and my daughters because mm -hmm. I'm surrounded by women in my house, okay? And yeah. so we had this thing where you know you can't go out the house looking crazy, okay? And Correct. that's before I even came in the Israelite camp, okay? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when I came out of the Israelite camp, I told my wife, I said, look, you can wear pants long as you got something long cover in the middle. OK, mm -hmm. as long mm -hmm. as you go out there and it's covered in the middle and it's covering the back. I'm OK, you, you got it. You, you go out there representing you good. My wife mm -hmm. told mm -hmm. me she was not putting on no pants. OK, hey, so I left yeah. it at that. OK, I left it yeah. at that. I'm like, OK, OK. Mm -hmm. But after reevaluating the dress mm -hmm. code, OK, because I'm no longer at the school and mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something. I'm a man's man. OK. And yes. when I go to judgment day, ain't nobody finna hold my hand, okay? I got to see the king, and I ain't talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the most high, okay? Right. I got to right. face him face to face. And uh -huh. I want to make sure that what I'm doing down here, I'm not riding another man's coattail, that I am studying for myself. Now, yeah. if the leader of my school if he was the last and final messenger okay I would have to consider what he's saying but from what I've experienced he has not been on the mountaintop with Moses okay and he wasn't in the cave with the angel Gabriel so I cannot just go based on another man's revelation okay I have to search my own salvation I have to make sure 
I'm good in my own place. Now, I want to talk about how um, I, I I gave her that, you know, recommendation. She said no. Right. That, okay. That option. Yeah, that option. Well, you gave her the ability to dress the way that she felt accordingly was right for her. Right. And there is nothing wrong with that at all. Right. Because I've even seen people complain about the outfit, the way the dress, even a dress would fit a woman. But I think the woman themselves have to determine what is right for her. That's right. And yeah. so now after we are reevaluating this thing, I mm -hmm. can't have my kids running out the house looking Amish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. Now, so I wanted to keep going, okay? Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you my testimony, and, 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 and no disrespect to nobody's okay. fans, but yeah. I got to keep it real. Yeah. I heard this man, okay, mm -hmm. the leader of IUIC, I heard mm -hmm. him. He said that Cain became white after he was expelled from God's presence, the melanin left his skin, and that's why Esau is white. Now, I don't see that in the scripture, okay? That is nowhere in the Bible, okay? So if a man is off on one thing, mm -hmm. he can be mm -hmm. off on many other things. And that's mm -hmm. why I'm reevaluating everything that I was taught, okay? Because before I even came into school, I've always mm -hmm. had this pioneer instinct. I've always felt like God wanted to do something with me. It took humility for me to humble myself and be a part of the camp. But after mm -hmm. witnessing so much hypocrisy, okay, mm -hmm. I had to remove myself, okay, and mm -hmm. now I know that you need to follow your first mind, okay? Now, my mm -hmm. wife, the reputation of my wife, there's no need for me to speak on it. Everyone knows locally what kind of woman she is. Okay, mm -hmm. and my children. Okay, too. so yeah. if, if you see my wife and you see my kids back in pants, uh, don't lose your mind. Okay, just know that I've been liberated from the bondage. Okay, well, and and it was saying that I can bear witness to how uh, wonderful your family is, that I can bear witness to. Um, so uh, and saying what you just said, you know, I'm still, I'm at the, the, the king, king being turned white. Mm -hmm. What would that have to do with, with, uh, Esau? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Esau's father is Isaac. So right. <laughs> not Cain. Okay. So, and you know what? How do the two match? You know what? <laughs> and you know what, brother, me and you, yeah. we, we will save that discussion right there. We'll do that topic. on another broadcast. And okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. We'll do a whole nother broadcast, okay, on Esau, okay? But yeah, yeah we, we want to still keep on on, on okay. this dress code. The dress code, yeah. Yeah. We want to stay on this dress code. Now, I have a few other uh, scriptures, okay? And this is coming from the Quran. Now, okay. this is going to be Quran 24, 31. It says, mm -hmm. and let them not stamp their feet in a way that the adornment they conceal is known. So this is getting on the movement in mm -hmm. the clothing. Okay, people don't ever want to bring out that, okay? They'll mm -hmm. bring out that when they go to Isaiah chapter 3. But here we have the prophet, Mohammed, peace and blessings be upon him. He's going mm -hmm. into the way we move. And the women move in their garments. I have another. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is going to be Surrey. Let me see which one this is real quick. Because I, I want people to know where I'm going into. This mm -hmm. is going to be Surrey 2460. The women who are past their youth and can no longer bear children and do not look forward to marriage will incur no sin 
if they cast off their outer garment, okay, without displaying their adornment. But if they remain modest, that is still better for them. So we have stipulation, okay, on women mm -hmm. who are past their youth and can't bear children, okay? They don't even mm -hmm. have to have the outer garment, okay? Long wow. as they are modest, okay? Modest, and yeah. I got another right. one, okay? This one right here is going to be Quran 33, 59. Oh, prophet, and join your wives and your daughters and the believing women to draw a part of their outer coverings around them. It is likelier that they will be recognized and not molested. So here we have, okay, this is the Quran. And it wants mm -hmm. the woman just to have the outer garment, okay? Right. Muslim women wear pants, okay? Muslim women, some women are stricter, okay? It's however the woman wants to cover up, okay? Right. Long but as the woman up. is covered up. Right, I was going to say, but cover up. Cover That's up. The whole point is cover up. You, you don't want your goodies shown. That's right. You know, right, right. You want to cover up. So be right, and and that goes for anything that you're wearing. You want to cover up, you know. You, you know, I I've seen a lot of women, especially in the workforce, working with LAUSD, uh, women that had on outfits that complimented them and yeah. not made them look um, in a bad light, but in a very good light. Yes, sir. You know, but I've also seen women show this up in a bad light. That's right. That is yeah, right. Cover up. Yeah, so that's that's the main thing. Is so, mm -hmm. um, you know, I definitely want to get on other things. Uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, I, I appreciate you bringing that out and. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, we're going to go to 30 minutes. Right now, we at 23. And okay. I definitely um, am looking through the word of God. And I'm going to show you all the scriptures. The word breaches is even used. Yes, it's Exodus yes. 28, 42. Exodus 39, 28. Leviticus chapter 6, verse 2. Leviticus 16, Four, Ezekiel 44, 18, and Ecclesiasticus, that is the Apocrypha, better known as Sirach, 45, 8. Now, all these references is for the sons of Aaron. Yes. These are all for the sons of Aaron. <laughs> they all for the sons of Aaron. Mm -hmm. There's no scripture reference, okay? Where God is like, I want all the children of Israel, all the sons, okay, of Israel to be wearing pants. Okay, let us stop majoring on the minors. Let us stop mm -hmm. straining a, a, a net to swallow a camel. Okay, mm -hmm. let us mm -hmm. focus on the heavier and weightier matters. Okay, we destroying these women out here with this Deuteronomy mm -hmm. 22 and 5. Pulling out the sword. Yeah. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. And it's not detailed. It is not exact. You have mm -hmm. no ground to stand on. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Do not commit adultery. It's very clear. It is very yeah. clear from the beginning to the end. To the end. To the yeah. end. It's very clear. Ain't no guessing. Okay. But when it comes mm -hmm. to the clothing line, it's not like that. God is not majoring on the minors. What he wants you to do is to obey him, to mm -hmm. love him, mm -hmm. okay? Not with your lips, but with your actions. He wants you to remember the poor, okay? Mm -hmm. He wants you to defend the widow, not bash the widow, not destroy the widow, not yeah. post up outside a grocery store, destroying mm -hmm. everybody that's going in, trying to buy food, okay? We supposed to have mercy, and not mm -hmm. sacrifice. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I get excited. I get excited yeah. about this thing. I, 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 I hear the excitement in you. Yes, I sir. Mean, man, dude, oh, look here, nephew. You, you hitting it all. 
I I really like what you were saying when 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 you said about bringing the women down. Right. Because, yeah, you're you're destroying what you say is precious to you. What you are claiming to lift up is I don't see how it's a lift up. I I see it as a teardown. Yes, sir. A total teardown. Because you make them feel bad about themselves. Yes, and sir. yet, yet you want to act like you are Sarah. You want them to act like they are Sarah and call you uh, Abraham as Lord. Right. And I don't understand that. All right. And I'm with yeah. you. Yes, because I I think you should honor your 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 wife and your daughters because your you are the person that your daughters are going to set their pattern on what type of husband they will be seeking out. Yes, sir. The way their father treats them. I tell everyone all the time, your, your daughter's first love is you. The way your father treats you is the way you seek out a husband. Hey, and, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold mm -hmm. on. Uh -huh. I got to give you some claps on that one. Yes. I got to give you some claps on that one. That yeah. is right. Yeah. Well, hey. well, my daughters, my daughters, each time they, each time they were with someone before they decided to get serious with somebody, they always brought the man to me. Always. And they seeked out my approval. Even in marriage. And both of my daughters are married. They seeked out my approval before they decided to marry the man. Yes, sir. Because guns don't kill. Dads with daughters kill. Okay. Hello. Dads with daughters <laughs> kill. Okay. Man. And we got to defend the widow. We got, got to. To, we got to love those. Okay. They can't speak for themselves because a lot of these women is getting chopped up. They getting chopped up, okay? And, and we strict over here. We ain't Mr. Drink Your Bath Water, baby. But at the same time, okay, we have that balance in this house. That My daughters yeah. know how they better conduct themselves when they walk out of this house, okay? Mm -hmm. And I don't have mm -hmm. no issues. My daughters is not jumping out of the window, okay? Mm -hmm. we, we got that love and we got that balance in this house. And it comes from... The woman, okay, it comes mm -hmm. from the woman, the mother of the house, Damn and I house. and my my wife ain't in jail in this house, okay. We mm -hmm. I let my wife speak; they ain't in jail. And I wanted to ask her because we got a few minutes left. I want to mm -hmm. ask her if she has anything to say about the dress code of the woman. <clears throat> well, Go just, ahead, <laughs> Well, I just want to praise the Most High first of all. Because mm -hmm. um, being an IUIC is literally being in a cult, like being in jail. Mm -hmm. And um, they twisting God's word um, on their own benefit just to uh, confuse people. Mm -hmm. So I praise God for my husband that um, we went in as a family and we came out as a family. And um, he's teaching us every day and um, he's planning. He's a studier. And I'll praise us for that. He's a studier and he's teaching us. And first, I didn't agree with the pants, but um, we had to unlearn what we were taught in the cult and learn mm -hmm. what God really is really trying to show us every day. Um, being led by the truth and studying and being obedient to it. To it. So, um, for, like I said, first, I didn't agree um, getting up the the dresses and getting pants. I mean, we wear both. We switch mm -hmm. it up, but first I didn't right. agree, but now I do. So I praise the most high for my husband that mm -hmm. he saw that and he's teaching us and we just got to be uh, obedient to the most high's word each and every day. Yes, sir. Well, well brother, we're going to close it out. I'm going to let you have the floor on any closing remarks. Okay. My guests, my uh, brother. I would just like to say thank you, nephew, for allowing me to come on with you and the family. And um, if, whenever you need me to come back, I will be back.
I, I, I would love to get other people on here so we can get other opinions. Yes, sir. And uh, so uh, I just thank you guys for uh, for just letting me on. You know, um, and I look forward to talking again. Yes, sir. Same yeah. here, my brother. And with with that, peace, my brother. Peace. All right. How how they say it? Uh, is it the reverse? Salika Salam? Salika <laughs> Salam, yeah. Salama Salama Salika Salika Salam. Yes, sir. We be with you, my brother. All right, my brother. I'll be seeing you soon, too. Okay. All right. Anytime. Y'all yes, y'all know, y'all know y'all family. Come on, come on home. Yes, sir. Thank you. We appreciate right. you guys. We appreciate you guys. And tell my nieces I love them. Oh, they can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> they laughing. Like, he's crazy. He's crazy. I swear. You. All right. Take care. All right. All right. So that was my crazy uncle. I had him on. And, you know, now is that time for us to search these scriptures. Is you winning? We win. Yes.